What you guys got another video here for your Microsoft account versus local account, which one should you use? Well, when setting up your Windows 11 PC, one of the first decisions you'll need to make is whether to sign into a local account or Microsoft account. A local account is a user account that is specific to that computer that you're using, while a Microsoft account is a cloud-based account that you can use across multiple devices and integrations with Microsoft services. So for instance, you can see the Microsoft Store is something that you can use if you have a Microsoft account. So if you are playing Forza or any of the Microsoft games that are available or use any of the Microsoft software, then it's essential that you have a Microsoft account attached to your computer. If you don't use any of this stuff, then you can discard this and use a local account. But there's other things you need to know about Microsoft accounts and local accounts and we'll still go through them in this video. So remember, Microsoft account and local accounts have advantages and disadvantages. The choice depends on your specific needs and preferences. Now, before we continue, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys or Office keys, then check out the link in the video description. Once you've uh, gone to the website, you can create yourself an account and choose the product you want, you'll get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you click on the Buy Now button, what will happen is it will ask you to put in a promo code. You can put in my promo code right here to get your 30% discount. Capital B, capital R, 09, and apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. Now, you can use this key to either activate version of Windows, or you can upgrade from Windows Home Edition to Pro Editions. You can also do it from different countries as well. We're in Great Britain here, and that's the discount you would get if you purchased a Windows 11 Pro OEM key. Once you submit your order, they will send you your key, and you can either activate your version of Windows, just like you can see on the screen, or you can use it to upgrade from Home to Pro Editions of Windows. Check the video description for more details. Okay, so let's quickly talk about a Windows local account for Windows 11 or Windows 10. This is generally a offline user account that exists only for that specific Windows device. A Windows Microsoft account is something that you would use if you want to use some of the Microsoft services like OneDrive or Office Suite or something like that. If you're gonna be using OneDrive, you can see here it's asking me to create an account and sign in. This means you'll be signing into your Microsoft account and this will sync all of your data and files and settings to Microsoft. Whereas a local account is basically that, it's an offline user account. It's not connected to Microsoft via that method. But remember, local accounts have limitations as well. So it means that you are using that computer with a local account. You're not gonna get security features that Microsoft offer with the Microsoft account. And we'll go through those in a little bit more detail later on. So let's go over some of the features for a local account. Well, it stores all of your data and settings and preferences on that device. Also, it doesn't require internet connection to sign in to your Windows-based system. It's not connected via Microsoft account and you need a Microsoft account to sign in to get to the desktop. Password and securities are limited to the local device and you cannot sync your data between devices and it's limited access to Microsoft services like OneDrive, uh, Microsoft Store and Xbox Live. So that is the main difference between those. When you sign into a Microsoft account, it's going to give you extra services available which you might want to use if you use, say, Microsoft Office or you use certain programs or games that are attached to a Microsoft account and you need to have one of those to be able to use them. So your Microsoft account is basically an online account provided by Microsoft that connects your Windows device to a suite of Microsoft services. This account can be an Outlook.com, Hotmail.com, Live.com, or even a third party email address that is registered to your Microsoft account. Programs like BitLocker also store your key if you ever got locked out or you ever need to recover your key, it's attached to your Microsoft account. And this is super useful if you want to use uh, data encryption on your system. And a Microsoft account basically gives you certain features like syncing all your settings, preferences, themes, and passwords across all your devices. 
It enables access to OneDrive for all the cloud storage, automatically signs you into apps like Microsoft Store, Microsoft 365, Xbox, uh, Teams, and things like that. Plenty more. It also provides password recovery options via email or phone. So if you get locked out of your PC, and you'll be able to recover that password via email or even phone. It also enables advanced security features like two-factor authentication, and it also allows Windows Hello features to be used. So a Microsoft account is ideal for users who are integrated into the Microsoft ecosystem. If you're not and you don't want to be part of that ecosystem, then use a local account. You won't be able to use Sync and things like that to sync all your data to Microsoft. Maybe that's something you don't want to do, and maybe that's something you do. Resetting your password is really super easy and really secure using Microsoft. Regardless of what people say about a Microsoft account, it is very secure using this method. If you had BitLocker enabled and you had a Microsoft account enabled, that person, if they steal your laptop, are not going to be able to get your data or sign in because you're going to have BitLocker encryption on there and also a Microsoft password set to that account and they're not going to be able to sign in to that account it's a lot more secure if you lost your laptop and you had just a local account set up with a password it can be easily bypassed and they can gain access to all your data so it's not as secure as bitlocker with a microsoft account so if you're one of these people that use multiple windows devices then having a microsoft account makes it super easy to switch between one device to another you can't do that on a local account. So while well, some people will say local accounts prioritize privacy and control, if you're a person that needs Microsoft uh, services, then obviously a Microsoft account is going to be more appealing to you. On the other hand, if you're using things like Xbox and things like that, then obviously you're in the Microsoft ecosystem and you're going to be using it across multiple devices and using Microsoft services. This is where Microsoft accounts offer features like cloud integration, syncing settings across devices, and also across online services, while local accounts don't do any of that stuff. So it's really up to you what you need out of your Windows-based system, whether you want local, prioritized privacy and control, or you're not worried about all that stuff and you want more secure operating system, then use a Microsoft account because Microsoft accounts do allow you Microsoft Store for downloading apps and games, OneDrive for all your cloud storage and automatic backups. It also allows you to use Outlook for email and calendar, Microsoft 365 if you've subscribed to that service. And you can use things like Teams, Skype and all Xbox Live integration as well. Now, the security features on a Microsoft account are essential for a lot of people where you're getting that two-step uh, verification also your windows hello which is can use your face or fingerprint or even pin to sign in you can use your bitlocker to encrypt all of your data as well and you can also use uh, things like copilot if you have a copilot plus pc then obviously having a microsoft account is essential to be able to use all of the features because you've purchased a copilot plus pc which has all of these built into it that was the whole idea of buying a Copilot Plus PC in the first place. So now some of the comments I've read on some of my videos, some people are just really paranoid about Microsoft, but they're still using their operating system. And I just don't get that. But at the end of the day, if you do want a bit more privacy, then obviously a local account is going to give you that privacy. But again, like I said, you do lose out quite a bit on the security side of things and also ease of use. Whereas a local account really is set for people that just want a simple case of using a Windows operating system. They don't want to use any features like Windows Backup and things like that, that you have to have a Microsoft account to connect up to. So a lot of the stuff is going down the Microsoft account route. And I can honestly see by the time we get to a couple of more builds later down the line, I can see them completely removing the local account altogether and just going down the Microsoft account route. I mean, I could be wrong. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Maybe that's where Microsoft are going. And maybe that frightens some people and they just don't want any part of that. And they just want to continue to use a local account. And this is why they try so hard to bypass the false Microsoft account setup during the Windows installation. So I can understand that a lot of people just want to use a local account. If they don't use any of this other stuff, then they should have a choice to. 
Unfortunately, Microsoft are moving in the direction of uh, Microsoft accounts. So I'm not sure how long this is going to last where we can still bypass and sign into a local account. Maybe in the future, Microsoft will phase it out completely. You can switch between local account and Microsoft account uh, all the time if you want to. It's very simple and easy to do. But I think once you've signed into a Microsoft account, you just may as well leave it there. So a quick look at the local at versus Microsoft account. So internet required uh, is no for a local account, whereas for a Microsoft account, yes, you need it for setup and syncing. Device syncing, no, is not required for a local account. Yes, you do need it for Microsoft account. One uh, drive access is no, you don't need that for a local account, but you do need it for a Microsoft account. Password recovery is a manual recovery process. No reset unless password hint works for you. You are going to have to use a bypass method to get your password recovery, whereas online recovery is available for Microsoft accounts. Family and safety and parent controls, that's not supported on a local account. But if you need family safety and parent controls, then Microsoft account is the way to go because it's fully supported. The Microsoft Store access is requires a manual sign-in where it's automatically signed in with a Microsoft account. Two-factor authentication is not available with a local account, but it is with a Microsoft account, which gives you the added security. Also, local account security is very basic, where it's enhanced with a cloud-based options for Microsoft account. Personalization limited to one device, whereas you can sync across all devices with a Microsoft account. I hope this clears it up and helps you decide which one is right for you. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.